Well, the goal of Allison's most recent race was not to win. Despite the oppressively hot streets of Los Angeles, the small crowd stayed late into the day owing to the promise of it. They had traveled a great distance to get here, a race with Allison Felix. How could they have missed it? In today's video, we'll discuss additional details of Allison's retirement. Without further ado, let's dive into the specifics of Allison's retirement. Felix earned 11 Olympic medals between 2004 and 2016, making her the most decorated female athlete in Olympic history. With 18 awards, she holds a record for the most medals won by a female athlete in the World Championships. She promised to take a totally new approach to the sport in her last season and to have fun. Felix has various aspirations for her daughter Cameron, who was born in 2018, including spending more time with her family and supporting equality for women in athletics while working with her brother to operate their footwear firm. She says, I've only ever experienced this activity in one way, so it's been difficult to interpret it as pleasure, she said. I continue to push myself because I have a competitive attitude. Well, what are your thoughts on her retirement? Leave your marks in the comment section. Next up, Whiteman is stepping up for one last 2022 battle. After the wonderful evening in Oregon, during which Whiteman raced to gold in front of a surprised but joyful Hayward Field crowd, Whiteman has not had everything go well from a purely sports standpoint, and this has been a challenge for him. Before the glory of that triumph fully sunk in, he was already on his way to the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, England. As a result, the recently minted world champion found it difficult to motivate himself to compete again, even though he had already accomplished his most important objective for the year. Whiteman said that mentally, the experience had been far more challenging than he had anticipated. I had the impression that participating in three championships, in which you race rather than train, would be the easy part. But coming off such a high as I had in Eugene at World Championships, my next championship was Commonwealth so soon after. And it was by far the hardest, running the same distance with the expectation of winning it, she said. But I did it, she exclaimed, I won. However, the 800-meter events that will take place in Munich will be different for an athlete who sees himself more broadly as a middle distance runner, rather than as someone who is bound to any one particular distance. Running 800 meters is almost like running a new distance. There aren't any expectations placed on me. I'm looking forward to having fun and enjoying Munich and the championships as much as possible. Following that, instead of the stands, Dad Geoff is in his corner. The image of Jake's father, Geoff, tearfully commenting on his son's triumph from the stands at the World Championships held in Oregon, was one of the competition's highlights. Geoff, also Jake's coach, works as a stadium announcer for many of the largest largest championships held worldwide. While Geoff often sits thousands of people away from his son as the latter competes in the most crucial races of his life. This time though, Jake will have the assistance of Whiteman Sr., a former marathon runner who competed for Great Britain in the Commonwealth Games. Jake's goal is to cap off an excellent season by winning a third medal in as many competitions as he competed. I never get to speak or see him. Hopefully that helps. The younger Whiteman explained before adding with a smile. I'm not sure how it will be because I'm so unused to it. Hopefully he doesn't get on my nerves by talking to me too much and announcing at me rather than the stadium. Next up, Matt Hudson Smith was on the verge of leaving athletics to join the Army. Matt Hudson Smith admitted that he almost gave up sports to join the Army. Almost two months after smashing the British mark, the European 400-meter champion is back in Eugene for the World Athletics Championship. He ran 44.35 seconds in the Diamond League competition at Hayward Field in May, breaking Ewan Thomas's 25-year 400-meter record. Much was anticipated of Hudson Smith when he ran 44.97 seconds as an 18 year old in 2014, but before his debut on Sunday, he admits to nearly walking away. It was simply a little fun and games that I was excellent at, he said. In 2014, two weeks before the 44, I was at Asada in Glasgow and joined up for the Army. I had no desire to attend university. I had no idea what I was going to do. I was simply going through the motions of life. I didn't have much money in my bank account. My whole life changed because of one race. I had an agent. Sponsors were approaching me left, right, and center. I learned about taxes, and I learned so much more. The Wolverhampton born runner, who won the European Championships in 2018, has overcome three stress fractures in his back and almost lost his left leg to a gangrenous ulcer in 2012. Injury also caused him to miss the Olympics last year, but the 27-year-old is content with his bat. Whether he remains an athlete or not is not yet confirmed. Moving on, officials disqualify England from the 4x400-meter relay final in Birmingham, causing a Commonwealth Games heartbreak. The English relay team of Victoria Rogu, Jody Williams, Ama Pippi, and Jesse Knight finished fourth in the 4x400-meter at the Commonwealth Games. The foursome was booted out of the tournament and not permitted to compete for the title when Williams and Orogu broke the rules during their changeover. Knight, a 400-meter hurdle specialist, made a powerful charge right before the finish line to beat Kira Constantine of Canada by the tiniest of marches. However, as the British foursome was celebrating, inspectors were investigating the switchover between Orogu and Williams and concluded that England had strayed off course. Williams had been appointed captain. England was unable to earn his ninth Olympic gold medal as a consequence of its choice not to appeal the judgment. 
the 29-year-old athlete who had earlier participated on Saturday and finished third in the 800 meters, won in a blazing pace of 4 minutes and 2.75 seconds, with Northern Ireland's Kiara McGeehan and Australia's Abby Caldwell taking silver and bronze respectively. Muir's colleague, Jim Ariki, almost missed out on a medal, she told BBC Sports after the race. Running here meant a lot to me. It's incredible to come all the way here and win not one, but two medals, she added, because this is such a difficult industry and these ladies are so quick, every second matters. Following that, UK Athletics Band coach Tony Minicciello for life for sexually inappropriate conduct. Tony Minicciello, Jessica Ennis' and former Hills coach, has been banned for life by UK Athletics for severe breaches of trust. Minicciello was banned in 2021 after claims from many female athletes and an investigation was launched. For over 15 years, he engaged in sexually inappropriate behavior, emotional abuse, and bullying. According to an independent panel, Minicciello's actions were shown to have significant repercussions on the mental health and emotional welfare of the sportsmen under his care. Minicciello was crowned BBC Sports Personality of the Year coach in 2012 after guiding Ennis Hill to Olympic gold in the heptathlon. His coaching license has expired, so he cannot be sanctioned technically. But UK Athletics believes that there will never be a time in the future when a new license will be considered. The statement states that granting a UKA license to a coach is a certification on behalf of UKA that the coach in issue can be trusted with the athletes under its care. UKA is convinced that there will never be a time in the future when such a guarantee and license would be appropriate. UKA has assessed the issue and found that the outcomes are serious. These equate to several UKA coach license terms breaches over the course of 15 years. These are significant breaches of trust by Mr. Minicciello, with substantial consequences for the mental health and emotional well-being of the athletes under his care. Finally, Marcel Jacobs wins the 100-meter gold medal at the European Athletics Championship. Marcel Jacobs of Italy won gold in the 100-meter sprints at the current European Athletics Championship despite an injury-plagued season. The Olympic champion, who withdrew from last month's world championships before the semifinals due to a flare-up of the thigh ailment that has affected him all season, finished in 9.95 seconds, creating a new championship record. Zarnell Hughes, the defending champion, had to settle for silver after running a 9.99 seconds, faster than fellow Britain Jeremiah Az, who finished in 10.13 seconds. Gina Lukankampa of Germany joined Marcel Jacobs as the European Athletics Championship 100-meter champion after winning the women's event by the narrowest of margins. Majinga Kambunji of Switzerland seemed to to have the race won until Lucan Kamper and Daryl Nieta of the United Kingdoms caught her in a blanket finish. Lucan Kamper, who won silver four years ago, and Kambunji both ran 10.99 seconds, but Lucan Kamper won by thousands. While Nieta claimed bronze after running 11 seconds, Dina Asher Smith, a fellow Briton who won bronze in the 200 meter at the World Championships, pulled up midway through the race with the cramp. In other events, Norway's Jacob Ingebrigtsen defended his 5,000 meter crown, while Germany's former world champion Niklas Kahl defeated Switzerland. Simone Ihammer in the Decathlon. Well, that marks the end of our video for today. We hope you liked it. On your way out, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.